How to end a dogfight. The process of how to break up a dogfight is fairly straightforward, but in the midst of all of that intensity and aggression, it can be difficult to do and for many, it is downright scary. Here's how it should be done if you are the one that has to intervene. The wheelbarrow method. One of the most successful methods of dispersing fighting dogs is the wheelbarrow method. This is done by two people who grab their dogs by their hind legs and pull them apart, essentially making it impossible to continue the fight. Once the dogs separate, the two people turn in a circle, continuing to back away from the other dog. This method separates the two dogs and prevents the dogs from getting back into the fight and biting the person holding their legs. Assess the situation, determine the aggressor. If you find yourself alone and encounter fighting dogs, you can end the fight by first identifying which animal is the aggressor or which dog is attacking the other. Typically, there will be one dog that is much more intense. Identify this dog and remove it from the fight. As a rule, both dogs stop fighting. Break any strong jaw grip. In the case of a dog who has latched onto another, it's vital that you release the dog's grip before attempting to pull them away, otherwise you risk injuring the other dog further. Do this by sliding a brake stick, which is a strong flat stick, insert it horizontal as close to the back of the throat as possible and twist. This will force them to release their grip. Remember, only intervene if the dog's owner cannot control their dog, and assess whether it is safe to do so. Pull the collar back. As the dog breaks its grip, pull backward to remove it from the situation. Remember not to pull up in order to avoid any confusing signals that you're entering the fight yourself. As Cesar Milan always says, remain calm and assertive. This is definitely one of those times. As you pull, remember to make it known that you are a human friend by using a loud commanding voice.